Hi, this is Anjali from EDM Toronto, and we are here actually in Montreal at Circus After Hours Nightclub, and we're here celebrating Odyssey, which is the New Year celebration. So I am here with Basil Lou Blue. So Happy New Year, Basil. Happy New Year. Welcome to Montreal. Thank you. Uh, so you just finished playing a two-hour set here. Yes. Yeah, how did that go? It was amazing. How do you like the Montreal crowd? The Montreal crowd is really, really great. Yeah. It's amazing. You. If you don't mind, can you give, take a moment to introduce yourself to some of our okay. audience members? Because maybe not everybody knows yep. you and is familiar with your sound. So tell us, who is Basil Loglu? Where did you come from and what do you do? <laughs> I am Basil Loglu or Basil Loglu. Basil, okay. okay. <laughs> I am from Greece. I started producing seven or five years ago. Okay. I occasionally DJ now. Okay. Occasionally DJ, yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, my sound is uh, trans, progressive, dark, yes. deep, emotional, a lot of atmospheres. Okay, so where does that dark, dark, deep, and emotional um, sound come from? Probably, I don't know, maybe from the inspiration I had from listening to Chemical Brothers or Prodigy mm -hmm. or bands like that. Why don't you tell us what you've been up to over the 2012? Ben 2012 was actually my first international gig like, here yes. in Montreal. Yes. It was great. Then uh, I, I attended a uh, Luminosity Festival. Yes. Really great. Amazing. I started my own label with a friend, Styler, yes. which went really well and uh, will go stronger. Yeah. 2013. Absolutely. About productions, uh, I didn't do a lot of originals. I focused more on remixing. Is there a reason for that? Why you focus more on remixing than... Not really. I mean, maybe lack of inspiration. I don't know. Yeah. It's just the, how it turned out for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. You've launched, you said you've launched that uh, record label, Saturated Audio. Saturated Audio. Okay, great. So how did that come about and what can we expect from it? Okay, Styler already had a label, but he had to stop it for some reasons. And we already had some collaboration with him. Yes. So I proposed him, let's have a label together. Okay, Just like why not? That. <laughs> I said, great, uh -huh. let's do it. So we did it. First release was a collaboration with us, with okay. me and Styler. Okay. Saturated. Oh, yes. And then we went on. Okay, great. And hopefully we'll see a lot more coming yep. in 2013. We have right? many, many cool tunes signed. Okay, awesome. So, now there are many high-profile um, producers out there who have been named the pioneers of the genre. They say that the essence of trance has been lost because trance these days is sounding cheesy or maybe not what it used to be. So, what is your opinion on that transition of trance music into the cheesier sound? It's a big debate. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last years, everybody, everybody's talking about this, that trance has changed. It's normal, I think. I mean... It's a normal evolution. Uh, yes, like, right? nothing remains the same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I don't like it, but uh -huh. it doesn't mean it's wrong. Okay, fair enough. Now, you as a new, relatively new producer, and mm -hmm. someone who, you know, you've launched a record label, um, do you feel that you have something to prove to maybe these pioneers of the original sound? Not really. I mean, these pioneers have succeeded everything in trance. Yeah. So maybe they tried something different. So as an ED, I'm uh, sorry, as an up-and-coming artist in the EDM scene, what's your biggest challenge in creating that name for yourself and getting, you know, your music out there? I think it's the quality of my productions. When I started producing, I didn't know a lot of stuff about, you know, productions, uh, really amateurs. Okay. Then I bought some more serious software, I started talking with people, mm -hmm. you know, all, always learning from them. Absolutely. From collaboration stuff. So, I think this is the key. Yeah. Perfect. Quality from our own productions. Absolutely, good. So, um, tell us about your radio show. Okay, my radio show is called Momentum. Okay. It's on After Hours FM mm -hmm. every third Thursday, okay. uh, 11 Central European time. Okay. I think it's, it's uh, 5 Montreal oh. time. Uh, I started this show 
three years ago, I think. Okay. At another station. But I, I wanted a bigger exposure, so okay. I went to After Hours FM. Good for you. And how's that working out for you? It went really well. Okay. Good. Amazing. So when will we see more? Is it a weekly show? Or is it a monthly uh, show? No, it's a monthly show. It's a monthly show every on After Hours FM? Yes. Okay, perfect. Every third Thursday. Every third Thursday. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that question. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. So what do you have coming up in 2013? Definitely not so many remixes. Okay. <laughs> more original productions. <laughs> good. That's nice to hear. Uh, I already did one original. Okay. I played it today. Mm -hmm. I had some cool response, but I had to fix some things that I noticed playing live. Okay. About the label, we have many cool tunes signed. Big names. Mm -hmm. Aaron Cams, Danilo Colli. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. So where can we find Basil Oglu online? You can find on Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, okay. www.facebook.com slash Basil Oglu. Okay. No slash, no, no comma, no, okay. no apostrophe. Okay. Dot com, Perfect. Twitter, Basil Oglu. Com. Perfect. All right, so thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure well, getting to know you. Now, before we wrap up, is there anything that you would like to say to your growing fan base in Toronto and Montreal? Uh, I'm really thankful for your support. Okay. And hopefully we'll see you in Toronto. I hope. Yep, so maybe we'll look forward to that in 2013. Yes, maybe. Okay, great pleasure meeting you today. Thank you. Okay. Now, for more information on EDM in Toronto, you can check out www.edmtor.com.